Brett Michaels looks like Mickey Rourke tried to become Caitlyn Jenner. Besides being a statement of absolute objective fact, this was a joke the voice actor Troy Baker quoted another person as saying. The response to which is summarized by this tweet. Nobody's telling him exactly how disgusted they are. He made a tweet to the effect of, it's a shame people choose to be offended instead of laughing, and then later said, I quit Twitter. Honestly, there is no need for that. You can just click this button or go private. He may just be kidding though and saying that out of frustration. After all, he didn't deactivate his account. He might just be taking a break. And I hope not a break to write an apology. But I am worried he may be considering something like that as he deleted this tweet. Yeah, he should have been smarter than to talk shit about Brett Michaels. But if it's a joke, it's a joke. Now, I could imagine there are possibly problems with him quoting someone else as saying something controversial. But at first glance, that doesn't seem to be the case. Searching through Twitter, it is people angry at Troy. And he's referred to them. He hasn't talked about a problem with that guy. Now, there are some people trying to organize a hashtag I stand with Troy, but I do not stand with Troy. He dropped this joke out there. It got noticed. There was outrage and then he chickened out. I don't want to stand with that. When people take issue with a joke of yours, you should pull it down. I stand with Troy. Nah, he could certainly turn my view around, but for now, he is yet another person setting the precedent that when people are annoyed at a joke, you take it down. You get rid of it. And so people are right to attack you, because look, it gets rid of it. They've protected people. You should join in. You can protect people too. Get them to take down all their dodgy jokes. It is clearly a joke. It is clear that his intent was not to harm anyone. Once you know that, how can you be hurt or upset by it? Maybe if it were presented to you in such a way that you couldn't recognize it as a joke and somehow you interpreted it as an attack or statement or judgment, it might make sense to be annoyed at him because it seems to you like he's made an attack if you've interpreted it that way. But once you know it is a joke, once you know he's trying to make you laugh and it isn't a judgment and it isn't a statement or anything like that, how can you be upset? There are only two reasons for this I can think of. One, he is being a hypocrite. If he has ever said to other people, no, you can't make jokes like that, yeah, fucking nail him for this shit, for being a hypocrite. It doesn't seem like he has, though. Or there's two. These people just want blood, which is likely what it is. If it weren't for people caving, if it weren't for people saying, yes, you're right to go after people and get their jokes taken down, or pictures taken down in the case of Lionhead Studio and that busty maid they thought was misogynistic, there wouldn't be incentive for people to look for blood. I'd like to think people would rather not be offended. It isn't a very nice feeling. But now, we have standards set that if you are offended, you can get stuff done. I think people would rather have power than avoid feeling offended, or even pretend to be offended in order to exert power over people. The little guys cannot really do anything about this. We can say, oh, I stand with Troy, but if these people have caved or still cave afterwards, they've done it. It's, it's done. They've set up this system where people realize they can get stuff taken down if they feel like it. Sometime or another, the big guys are going to have to take a stand. So no. I don't feel like standing with Troy, because he himself is not standing. He laid down and is letting people walk all over him. If he gets up, I will. What he desperately needs right now, though, is a boot up his ass. But, as usual, that's just another one of my harmful opinions.